2023 has been a year of significant loss in the crazy world of pro wrestling. 2023 has seen a number of beloved wrestlers pass away, and this video acts as a tribute to their lives and their decorated and celebrated wrestling careers. Join us now as WrestleMania makes a tribute to every wrestler who passed away in 2023. Absolute Andy Absolute Andy was a German pro wrestler who was mostly known for his work in West Side Extreme Wrestling. Andy passed away in November at just 40 years old, and wrestlers past and present were quick to pay tribute to a wonderful human being. WXW took to Twitter to pay tribute to one of their biggest stars, and this is how the touching tribute read. We say goodbye to one of the most deserving wrestlers in WXW history. Without a doubt, Absolute Andy is one of the best known and most popular wrestlers in German-speaking countries. In a career spanning almost 20 years, Absolute Andy has won every major title at WXW, 16 karat gold winner, WXW Unified World Wrestling Champion, WXW Shotgun Champion, 5-time WXW World Tag Team Champion, WXW World Heavyweight Champion. Andy is the only wrestler to have all of these achievements on his resume. Over 330 times, Andy has laced up his boots for WXW and stepped into the ring against the best of the best. Brian Danielson, Hiroshi Tanahashi, and Jeff Jarrett were amongst his opponents, as were Walter, Ilya Dragunov, and Tommy End. His big tag teams, JAA, A4, Ablas, and Champions of Champions, are part of our history. The day before yesterday, Andy lost his long battle against his illness and fell asleep in the presence of his wife. We wish his family and friends a lot of strength during this time and ask you to give them the necessary distance until we can all say goodbye to Andy together in the WXW ring with the respect that his life's work deserves. Adnan Al Casey Adnan Al Casey is mostly known to WWE fans for his role as General Adnan alongside the Iron Sheet. Adnan passed away in September at 84 years of age. WWE would post a fitting tribute to the former SummerSlam main eventer and it was hard to read without getting emotional. WWE is saddened to learn that Adnan Al Casey, known to sports entertainment fans as Billy White Wolf, Sheik Adnan Al Casey, and General Adnan passed away on September 6 at 84. Debuting in 1959, Al Casey wrote his biography that he was born in Baghdad. He had an amateur wrestling career in Iraq and attended Oklahoma State University. Beginning his career as Adnan Casey, he competed for a number of promotions under many names. He was Billy White Wolf in WWE, where he won the WWE World Tag Team Championship in 1976. He later joined WWE again as General Adnan. He was a Sheik of Sheiks, a bad dad in New Japan Pro Wrestling. He was also an in-ring competitor and manager Sheik Adnan El Casey in American Wrestling Association and World Clash Championship Wrestling. He headlined SummerSlam 91 with Colonel Mustafa, the Iron Sheik, and Iraqi sympathizer Sergeant Slaughter against Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior. Most recently, his General Adnan character appeared in WWE 2K15 and 2K16. WWE extends its condolences to Adnan El Casey's family, friends, and fans. Adrian Street Adrian Street was a household name in the UK, and his flamboyant character was way ahead of its time. His gimmick was bold and a stark contrast to most gimmicks around in the 1980s, and it was hardly a surprise that Street would win Gimmick of the Year from the Wrestling Observer in 1986. Street unfortunately passed in July at the age of 82, and wrestling personalities would share their tributes on social media, most notably William Regal who stated, I'm deeply saddened to hear the passing of my friend and truly one-off talent Adrian Street. My deepest condolences to Linda and Adrian's family. Rest well. Bart Sawyer Bart Sawyer is best known for his time in the Portland Territory as well as the USWA. Sawyer worked as an enhancement talent for both WWE and WCW, and an interesting fact about Sawyer was that he was once a USWA Tag Team Champion with the great one himself, The Rock. Sawyer passed away in September at 57 years old. Billy Two Rivers Billy Two Rivers was a name that wrestled all over the world, and Rivers even ventured into acting, appearing in movies such as Taking Lives and Black Robe. Rivers passed away in February at age of 87. Black Warrior Black Warrior was mostly known for his work in Mexico, predominantly in the CMLL promotion. Black Warrior's real name was Jesus Torrel Lopez, and he passed away in January at the age of 54. Brett Sawyer Legendary pro wrestler Brett Wayne Sawyer passed away in September at the age of 63. Brett was the brother of Mad Dog Buzz Sawyer, and he was mostly known for his work in the Portland Wrestling Territory. Butch Miller Butch Miller was one half of the iconic tag team The Bushwhackers, and the duo had such a decorated career that they would be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame back in 2015. 
Miller would unfortunately pass away in April at the age of 78. Charlie Norris Charlie Norris is mostly known for his work in WCW, but Norris spent years working in several different wrestling companies. He would pass away in February at just 59 years old. Emile Dupree Golden boy Emile Dupree is mostly known for the father of former WWE star Rene Dupree, yet Emile had a fantastic reputation as a pro wrestler. He would unfortunately pass away in September at the age of 86. Joyce Grable Joyce Grable was a long-term tag team partner of the legendary Wendy Richter. Her contributions to the world of pro wrestling would be acknowledged in 2012 when she was rightly inducted into the NWA Hall of Fame. She would sadly pass away in September at the age of 70. Jeff Gaylord Jeff Gaylord is likely familiar to WWE fans for his appearance at the 1993 Survivor Series under the name The Black Knight. He made appearances in various other promotions before a run in the law seemed to put an end to his pro wrestling career. He would pass away in March at the age of 64. Peggy Lee Peggy Lee's contributions to women's wrestling can never be denied. Lee worked in wrestling companies such as WWE and WCW, and when she passed in May at the age of 66, there were vocal calls from fans to see Lee inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Mike Halleck Mike Halleck is mostly known for portraying one of the most infamous gimmicks of all time, Mantor. Outside the Mantor gimmick, Halleck had runs in virtually every wrestling company imaginable, and wrestling fans past and present were keen to pay tribute to him when he passed in July at the age of 59. Lani Puffo Lani Puffo, aka The Genius, passed away in February at the age of 68. Puffo was a household name within the wrestling industry, and WWE issued an official tribute to Puffo which read, WWE is sad to learn that Lanny Poffo, best known to sports entertainment fans as a genius, passed away at 68 years of age. The son of Angelo Poffo and younger brother of WWE Hall of Famer Macho Man Randy Savage, Lanny Poffo had a style all his own. Arriving in WWE in 1985 alongside his brother, Leaping Lanny Poffo was one of the first high flyers in WWE. While he achieved some success as a fan favorite reading his own poetry and throwing frisbees to the crowd, he reached new heights as the genius while managing Mr. Perfect. WWE extends its condolences to Puffo's family, friends, and fans. Jerry Jarrett Jerry Jarrett was one of the most influential names in pro wrestling. Jarrett was a notable promoter and he is also the father of former WWE star Jeff Jarrett. WWE would post a beautiful tribute to Jerry who passed away in February at the age of 80. WWE is saddened to learn that Jerry Jarrett has passed away at age 80. The father of WWE Hall of Famer Jeff Jarrett, the elder Jarrett was a hugely influential figure in the wrestling industry. Jarrett wrestled primarily for NWA Mid-America, winning multiple tag team championships before hanging up his boots to focus on booking and promoting. Along with his partner Jerry the King Lawler, the two collaborated to create the Continental Wrestling Association, building it into a successful promotion in the Memphis area. CWA would later merge with World Clash Championship Wrestling to form the United States Wrestling Association. In 2002, he and his son formed NWA TNA, which helped launch the careers of future WWE superstars such as AJ Styles, Xavier Woods, Bobby Roode, and more. WWE extends its condolences to Jarrett's family, friends, and fans. Jay Briscoe Fans were stunned on January 17th when it was officially announced that Jay Briscoe had passed away at the age of 38. Briscoe had passed away in a car crash and the news was confirmed by AEW President Tony Khan who also paid tribute to Briscoe over on Twitter. Sadly, Jamie Pugh has passed away. Known to fans as Jay Briscoe, he was a star in Ring of Honor for over 20 years, from the first show until today. Jay and his brother Mark dominated Ring of Honor, reigning as champions to this day. We'll do whatever we can to support his family. Rest in peace, Jamin. Wrestlers from around the world paid tribute to Briscoe, and subsequent tribute matches were booked on TV to honor one of the most memorable wrestlers of the modern era, Billy Graham. Superstar Billy Graham is one of the most recognizable and famous pro wrestlers to ever live. He was known around the world, and he had a legendary career that included a WWE title reign that lasted 296 days. The legend passed away in May, just three weeks short of his 80th birthday. Head of WWE creative Triple H took to Twitter to pay tribute to Graham and this is what the game had to say. The most imitated man to ever step into the ring, but there was only one superstar Billy Graham. Rest in peace my friend, my thoughts are with his family, friends and fans. Draws Fans who grew up watching WWE during the Attitude Era knew all about Draws. 
Draws was one of the biggest young talents in the company, but that was until a freak accident in the ring led to Draws requiring the use of a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Despite the life-changing incident, Draws continued to have a positive outlook on life and he was often said to be one of the nicest people involved in the wrestling business. Draws would pass away in June at the age of 54 and WWE wasted no time to pay tribute to Draws on WWE.com. It read, WWE is saddened to learn that Darren Drozdov passed away on Friday, June 30th at age 54. An imposing force in the ring, Darren Drozdov became a notable figure in WWE, known to fans as both Puke and Droz during his time as an in-ring competitor. Drozdov was a gifted athlete before coming to WWE, playing football at the University of Maryland before stints in the NFL with the New York Jets, Philadelphia Eagles and Denver Broncos. Drozdov captivated audiences in the late 90s with his time spent in the Legion of Doom, teaming with Animal and his Droz World vignettes. WWE extends its condolences to Darren Drozdov's family, friends and fans. The Iron Sheik The word legend is thrown around a lot, but Iron Sheik was the definitive legend. Sheik was an absolute icon of pro wrestling and his feuds with the likes of Hulk Hogan and Bob Backlund are going to be continued to be celebrated and studied for years to come. The Sheik would pass away in his home in June at the age of 81 and the wrestling world collectively came together to pay tribute to the former WWE Champion. One of the wrestlers who paid tribute was The Rock who posted a video to his social media and in The Rock's tribute he would deliver a classy and respectful tribute where he extended the love and support to The Sheik's family. Terry Funk There's probably not a single wrestling fan who isn't aware of Terry Funk. Funk was one of the most legendary wrestlers to ever lace up a pair of boots and he had notable runs in the companies ranging from WWE to WCW. Sadly, Funk would pass away in August at the age of 79 and WWE posted an official tribute to Funk on their website which read, WWE is sad to learn that WWE Hall of Famer Terry Funk has passed away at the age of 79. Revered by fans and peers across the globe for his tenacity, heart and longevity, Funk will be remembered as one of the toughest competitors to ever step inside the squared circle. From WWE to All Japan, from WCW to ECW, Funk proved he could go toe to toe with the best and push the limits of what was possible inside the squared circle. In recognition of nearly 50 years in sports entertainment, Terry was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame alongside his brother in 2009 by the late Dusty Rhodes. WWE extends its condolences to Funk's family, friends and fans. And last but certainly not least, Bray Wyatt. When the news broke that Bray Wyatt had passed at the age of 36, fans and fellow wrestlers entered into a state of shock. Wyatt was one of the most beloved wrestlers ever and his creativity in the squared circle was unmatched. It took some time for everyone to process the loss and WWE's tributes to Wyatt were truly magical. They would donate all proceeds from Wyatt's merchandise to his family and they would also put together a special video of WWE talent paying tribute to the former multi-time world champion. Wrestlers from various companies would pay tribute to their friend and colleague in their own ways and Wyatt's former WWE rival John Cena took to Twitter to state, Devastated by the news of the passing of Wyndham Rotunda, my heart goes out to the entire Rotunda family. Wyndham brought the best out of me in so many ways. I'm forever grateful for the moments we shared. A sad day for all those he reached around the world rest in peace. Although Wyatt is no longer with us, his career and his life will continue to be celebrated and treasured forever. Rest in peace to all those wrestling legends.